Hello, my name is Michael Gukas and I work as a product manager for industrial signal conditioners and software at HBM. Today I'll introduce you to our new smart single channel signal conditioner, ClipX, and demonstrate how to quickly set up and parameterize the device. For this purpose, we've come up with two scenarios. First, there's a quick setup, getting the measured value in just five seconds with an efficient diagnosis. In the second scenario, I'll show you how ClipX can be operated in a measurement system to fulfill more complex tasks in test benches and automation solutions. I brought with me a force sensor from HBM of the type S9M. It's a typical industrial force sensor, which we wish to pair with our ClipX to create a digital measuring chain. ClipX has seven different sensor inputs. The first sensor input is located at the bottom of the device. In addition, ClipX has field buses, meaning that PLC controls can be integrated here. On the top, there are connections to the power supply, as well as to the digital inputs and outputs, and the analog output. Our parameterization interface is a standard Ethernet interface that can be accessed via any browser-based device, such as a PC, laptop, or a mobile phone. To connect, simply plug the sensor to the bottom outlet, connect the top of the Ethernet port to the PC, and power the device. ClipX is mounted on the DIN rail and does not require any tools. Now, let's get our ClipX up and running. We start up our PC and run the web browser first. To connect to ClipX, I can easily enter the device name via the IP address in the browser line. All settings and initializations can be made on the home page itself. On the amplifier side, I now select the desired measuring range and the appropriate unit. As a two-point scaling, I've set a range of 2 millivolt per volt for 1000 Newton for the force sensor S9M. Finally, I set the signal to zero and my measurement value is immediately displayed, which is also projected on the home page. For a quick diagnosis, I switch to the device page. Any errors or the device and measured value status are displayed here. Everything is fine in our example. We now come to the second scenario, which uses the internal ClipX bus. Up to six ClipX modules can be combined in one measuring system. The signals can be transmitted with one kilohertz via the ClipX bus, and each of the other devices can receive the signals and process them. ClipX has internal calculation channels, the so-called smart functions, tasks such as summation, PID control, and many other calculations already implemented in ClipX can be processed. I mount the second ClipX on the DIN rail, provide voltage for it, and connect the ClipX bus. We now have the following test set up. Two ClipX modules connected via the ClipX bus, and two S9M4 sensors functioning as two parallel measuring chains. I can now operate the devices via the standard Ethernet interface using the web browser. For this, I can choose a one-to-one -one connection or use a switch and bundle the Ethernet ports on the PC. I open the browser again and start the measurement task. I've now put in operation the second ClipX. In order to identify it better, I put the device name ClipX2 in the network dialog. Now we must put the ClipX bus into operation. So I switch back to the first device in the menu for the ClipX bus. Here I set my own device address to 1 and the maximum device address as 2, since we want to operate two devices in our ClipX bus. Each device can put one signal onto the ClipX bus, so I select the gross signal for the first and then do the same for the second device. In the menu ClipX bus, select your own address, which in this case is two, and the highest address for two devices is also the two. Again, the signal is the gross signal that we introduce for the ClipX bus, and when we switch to the home view, we immediately observe the values on the ClipX bus of our two measuring amplifiers. The same applies to the view of the first device. 
Now we want to parameterize a calculation channel. Thus, we switch to the menu Calculation Channels, and there we choose the function type Addition to add the two values on the ClipX bus. Various signals are available in the selection, which we decide for the values of ClipX bus 1 and ClipX bus 2. We complete the formula for the correct addition and put the result on a result channel. We immediately see the result in the view as the sum of both individual signals and can also assign a channel name here as well as a matching unit. All of it will now be shown on the home view together where we see the single values and also the total value in the home view. You've now seen how easy it is to use and integrate ClipX. I'm sure ClipX is also the right solution for your automation task, especially with respect to the new challenges that the Internet of Things has brought along.